Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we are going to speak regarding new edition of the uh, Warped collection, Shadow of Frederick. Uh, we did the uh, last guide about Bruin Bear, so it's time to speak more deeply about Shadow of Frederick. First of all, as always, um, I'm, I'm going to speak regarding attributes. Uh, I must say that um, priority attributes for Shadow of Frederick is intelligence, uh, spirit, and luck. Um, I think, like, as I have seen, uh, the main attribute is intelligence, simply because main skill of the uh, Shadow Frederick, Shadow Hunter, is uh, intelligence attribute. So, um, I would say again, try to get legendary warpets. Since the level of the warpets increased uh, during the season, it's much easier to get a legendary pet. Uh, and I will I will just let you see the comparisons between like even epic and legendary one. You can see how many S tier attributes the legendary warpets have. So try your maximum to have the legendary warpet. It will benefit you more and more. Uh, so it will be your priority to uh, make the intelligence as high as possible. Second, I think it's spirit. And after that, uh, the luck and why luck. I will continue speaking regarding luck whenever I will speak about skills of the Shadow Fairtrick. Honestly, he is looking great uh, and uh, he will look with the one particular hero uh, and I will speak about that hero in the later in the video. Uh, regarding like skills, uh, let's speak regarding skills more deeply. Shadow Hunter deals damage to the target Legion and inflicts captive. So captive means like Legion deals more damage to target inflicted with captive. Simply like you are marking somebody and whoever is marked, you are dealing more damage. Uh, the damage damage factor is 23, well, simply because my uh, warpit is epic. But it, like damage in general is magic and it's determined by intelligence. And that's why I said that intelligence um, attribute is a main attribute for this warpit. Uh, the second skill, uh, Forceful Shadow Hunter. Uh, Shadow Hunter damage is uh, 4.5. Again, determined by intelligence, which means higher intelligence you will have, higher percentage you will have on your main Shadow Hunter skill, which is going to deal additional damage. The third skill of the Shadow Hunter is called Enduring Shadow Hunter, and as always, third skill is a like spirit skill, and if you have like more every 20 250 spirits, you are getting extended duration of the this mark. So, like main attributes for this warpet is intelligence uh, and spirit for the uh, main skill. So, like, how how we should uh, utilize these skills and how we should build this warpit in the end, right? And simply because we have way more uh, slots to fill with the other skill. In my opinion, great uh, magic uh, warpit skill is always follow-up. It gives you chance, like 40% chance, to recast your uh, main skill of the warpit, right? So, like, if your warpits... Uh, main attribute skill is like a casting skill, like rage skill, it will be amazing, like 40% chance is a high chance, right? And whenever you are like dam dealing damage, healing or shielding, effect is 5.675%. So like you are cast, you have a chance to cast your skill once again, and in the second cast is even better than the first one. And I would follow simply the follow-up uh, with the next level of follow-up, and it should be uh, somewhere here, super follow-up, like trigger chance is increased, you have more chance to uh, trigger the follow-up, to trigger the second uh, rage skill, and it's de determined by luck, uh, simply because we uh, we have already three intelligence skills with the main one, second uh, main skill, and follow-up, and follow-up's additional skill is luck, which is totally suitable for us. Uh, I would say, like, uh, third follow-up would be totally fine in this type of uh, warpet, but, like, there is also other options for you, like, you can always go with the magic fortunes, right, like, warped skill deals magic damage and it crits, critting is always fine, it's like double damage, right, uh, ruthless follow-up for the follow-up section to increase, like, you get the additional crit rate. 
and like is uh, like is almost every uh, magic uh, mage uh, warpath elemental harmony can be totally fine so you can play around these uh, skills i think follow up is a great skill for this type of uh, warpath um, and uh, after follow up whichever attribute is left for you you can fill up the uh, warpath section now, now it's time to speak regarding heroes which heroes this uh, uh, Shadow of Frederick will be suitable. I think uh, any hero, any magic hero will be totally fine, like Waldir, Welin, um, Alwyn, um, uh, Lilia. But uh, there is one uh, favorite one. The I think this Shadow of Frederick is created because of uh, uh, Bertrand, right? Bertrand is a flying hero. Uh, Shadow of Frederick is a flying, like Shadow of Frederick uh, is kind of purple. Bertrand is purple. Bertrand is giving some marks, uh, golden marks to the target enemy legions and uh, he consumes and he deals extra damage. Something similar to the Shadow of Frederick, right? So, all these, all these aspects uh, reminds me that the Bertrand and Shadow of Erdrick is kind of close to each other, right? Uh, and if you're gonna check the Shadow of Erdrick skills, they are purple and Bertrand skills are purple. So I think Shadow of Erdrick is like exclusive to Bertrand. Uh, there are like a couple of uh, warpits which are exclusive to a couple of heroes and uh, as the Bertrand is a new addition to the mage se section, and it's a flying mage, which is pretty unique. We have not uh, gotten a new hero which is flying mage, or in general mage, so uh, I think Shadow of Edric is for Bertrand. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak uh, regarding Bertrand, regarding like Shadow of Edric. Uh, it's a new addition to the Fair Drake section. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I think uh, like a lot of people are going to use Shadow Fair Drake simply because they want to use Bertrand too. Um, and yeah, like uh, whenever new Warpath is going to come to our collection, of course, I'm gonna do the uh, guide about them uh, simply because I have already done uh, one by one guides about every single Warpath. Uh, also, like some Warpath build, uh, builds got changed, and I'm thinking to update the old guides about the warpits like almost every single warpits uh, like like skill set got changed uh, because of the buffs because of the nerves uh, so yeah I'm thinking to update my warpit guide uh, a guide I uh, I would like to know your opinion regarding it if you want to do it guys I'm I'm straight straight away going to do it but if not then I'm gonna like kind of do it in the later so like thanks for watching uh, this is pretty cool uh, warpit pretty cool looking I'm I'm hoping that we are going to get more and more new stuff in this game uh, it's always fun to observe and to go through a new stuff, new patch notes, like new events, right? New rewards. And like to feel that there like oh, constantly something is changing in this game and it's getting better and better. And I think Call of Dragons in general is getting better and better. Every single new update, like there have been some uh, mistakes, but nothing great has been built without mistakes, right? Some developers are people or so, they are making some mistakes, but it's important to uh, repair them uh, as soon as possible. Uh, and it's important to hear the people who are actually playing the game. So this is all I wanted to say uh, regarding the Shadow of Erdrick and like in the end regarding the game. Um, I hope you are liking the videos I'm creating. I'm trying my best. Um, um, I'm creating videos with my laptop. I don't even have a microphone. I'm using like laptop microphone. Okay. So don't be too judgeful, judgmental. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you very soon.